in focus palmistry. So I've only seen this, the astrology, and it's like chakras, crystals. It was crystals. So this astrology and crystals in the series, I guess you can call it a series trilogy. I don't know if um, this publishing company is going to make more of these books, like in a series, but it's their In Focus trilogy for right now. That's what I'm calling it. In Focus Palmistry by Robert, Roberta Fernon. And like the other two books, this comes with something extra. This one like the astrology one comes with a uh, 18 by 12 wall chart and you get like t two inches of like hands left and right and like a quick introduction to the lines. It's 16 chapters and so it like the other books it has like these kind of like unique little image images and like it talks about like types of hands so it like has like black it there's black images so you get a clearer so like a lavender or like peach or whatever so you get like a black image of a hand and you're like it gives you like this is a square hand or whatever and it talks about like the fingers and finger like fingertips and stuff so it's like the shape of everything and not just the lines on the hands because like I'm not I, I'm not a pro at palmistry but apparently like the shape of the hands and fingers also play a role so that's what I'm getting from the the introduction of like these aspects so you do get that and apparently you get um, a quick introduction to elements. Fire hands, air hands, wind, earth hands. And like it, like she says like to read like both hands because they can like be slightly different is what I'm getting from that. So side notes are in colored boxes. And then it, it gives you a quick introduction to different aspects of reading palms, like the mounts, like Mount of Jupiter, Mount of Saturn, and whatever. And talks of like palm, like again, the palms, fingers, uh, fingertips. And then there's a quick chapter on just like the thumb. And then it, on like each chapter talks about like a different line and it'll show you like you show you different like the line and like different like variations and like other lines that can like come across it and whatever like you got the lifeline headline heart line mirror lines another li it talks about other lines as well and like skin and like both in these lines and like skin ridge patterns and they get you a chapter on like different patterns that may appear on somebody's hand and so a conclusion is like about half a page and I wrote down one a quote from it basic Basic grounding palmistry, but you should look at many people's hands and read uh like like and read other books as to learn the skill as well. <laughs> Could not read my own writing for that one word, but whatever. And like she's stating that this is not the end all be all book for reading reading palms and that like 
the other two books, like the astrology and crystals one, it's giving you, it's giving you a lot of topics, but it, it's not giving you likely a full, like full on information or look at it. Yeah, like, I'm not saying she doesn't do that, but she's showing you different things that will start you on reading palms and palmistry. So, and it's a good, and like, for me, again, I'm not one to be a person that covers palmistry or astrology, but it is a good introduction to this topic. So if you can get it, whether a physical form, ebook, or from your library, uh, and you're, you are interested in this topic, it's a very good introduction. So, In Focus Palmistry by Roberta Vernon. Happy readings!